Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. Well, on the 31st of August, everybody, I did a feeding video with my Panchinoda grubs. And uh, you get 10 grubs per tub. So I used 8 grubs in the video. And um, I left 2 in this tub here. And as you can see, there's plenty of soil in there. So if I just push the soil out the way, you'll see two balls... There's one there, and there is another one. Now, when I did that feeding video, that was around about seven weeks ago, and these are from tropical Africa, and body size, when they actually pupate into a beetle, their body size is around about an inch, and when they go from grubs to beetles, they usually stay in the soil between three to five months, and that depends on the temperature, so... I've done a little bit of research and if the higher the temperature, the quicker they pupate. And beetles, when they actually pupate into a beetle, they'll live between two to five months. So yeah, I decided to uh, keep two out of that uh, feeding video I did seven weeks ago. And I'm hoping that these will actually pupate very, very soon. And when they do, I'll definitely do a video and uh, you need a fairly big enclosure for these when they pupate. Uh, you need around about four inches of soil. And they eat uh, fruit, a banana, apple, uh, kiwi fruit. And they can eat beetle jelly as well. So when these uh, pupate, they'll actually look like this. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's what they actually look like. And I think they look pretty cute, really. I think they're something different to add to the collection so what i'll do is now i'll just push the soil back over and what i might do is now i'll leave them in my cabinet which is it's not the warmest place to keep them so i'm going to keep them on my shelf and uh, what i'll do is i'll just quickly mist the soil before i put them on the shelf so i've decided to mist the substrate a little bit and then what I'll do is I'll just put the lid on and uh, put them on my uh, shelving. So let's just slowly pick the tub up. And I'll just put them there, just on top of my P Zazamoy enclosure. Yeah, that should be perfectly fine. And you can see my heat cable at the back there. And you can see the uh, actual temperature, which is 80, which is fairly high. And that's good for my scorpions as well. And that's why I push these uh, mantis away from the uh, heat. Uh, scorpions like it really high. Um, a wolf spider, I just put it there. And if it gets a little bit too warm, I'll just move the enclosures out the way. Or if it gets too cold, I'll just move the enclosures closer to the heat cable. And it goes all the way at the back. So that's how I heat my collection as well. A lot of people have been asking me how I heat my collection. And the heat cable goes all the way down, look. As you can see, it goes all the way down the layers of the of the shelving and all the way down down to the bottom. Just an idea that I came up with. So I hope you enjoyed this video, everybody. And like I said earlier, when these pupate into a beetle, I will press record. So I thought I'd do something a little bit different to my channel. I've never kept beetles before. Not these kind of beetles. So everybody, let's do a quick update on the collection like it's just said while I'm here. So them two mantis are doing perfectly fine, my giant rainforest mantis. My wolf spider, she's doing perfectly fine. I'll probably fill up the water dish again and give it a mild spray a bit later. Um, then Brachypalma vaggins, them little small slings. They aren't actually uh, malted yet. Still waiting for them to malt. Uh, my unknown tarantula that I got from the Bristol show. It's somewhere down in its burrow. Can't really see it. That's doing perfectly fine. That's absolutely eating loads and loads. Uh, my P. Rufalata that I got from the Bristol show as well. That's doing perfectly fine. It's just uh, decided to run around a little bit. Uh, there it is. <laughs> Not very big. Probably about an inch, inch and a half. That's doing perfectly fine. Uh, sand spider's doing fine. My only centipede left in my collection. Not too sure if it's a male or female. 
that's uh, walking around and keeps filling up his uh, water dish with soil. <laughs> so yeah, everybody's doing perfectly fine. And here's my beautiful P. Metallica. She's always walking around. And always out and about. Uh, my Viasolopes, I gave that one a large locust a couple of weeks ago and it wasn't really interested. And there's my S. Calciatum, feather leg baboon. She's had a, a large locust and you can see her abdomen's nice and plump now. Uh, my well, um, crab spider sling, sorry. I've only got eight left. Unfortunately, they keep dying on me. Um, I've been told I need cross ventilation. So I'm going to uh, try and put some uh, holes in the sides and try and keep them out if I can. I've only sold five. Uh, I've got an empty enclosure there that my next door neighbour kindly gave me, which was very nice of him. So that needs filling up with a nice arboreal tarantula. Probably a nice female pink toe will be nice inside there. And everybody else is doing perfectly fine. Uh, that's my classic order enclosure, the acrylic enclosure. My um, Egyptian predatory beetles are in there. They're doing perfectly fine. There's my scorpion collection. And she's hovering over the water dish, so that needs filling up a little bit later. So, yeah, everybody else is doing perfectly fine. And my B. Amelia doesn't really eat much. My Brachypalma albopolosum. And my female Hapopolis species Columbia large form. And these are the only four wolf spider slings I've got left. I gave them a mist a little bit earlier. They're doing perfectly fine. So yeah, and my enclosure with my Cameroon crab spider female that unfortunately passed away from old age. It's still empty. So that needs filling up with a nice arboreal tarantula. Or you never know, I could put a trapdoor spider in there and fill it up with about, I don't know, seven or eight inches of substrate. Perfect enclosure for a trapdoors because they like to burrow down so yeah whole of the collection is doing perfectly fine so i thought i'd do a a quick update on while i'm here so i hope you enjoyed this video everybody and uh thanks for watching everyone